Hey there, want to save time by automating your Google Calendar events directly from Google Sheets? In this video, I'll walk you through how to create events in bulk using a completely free add-on. Whether you're scheduling appointments, planning events, or managing shifts, this tool has you covered. Stick around, because I'll show you both a quick template-based demo and how to build a custom automation from scratch. Let's dive in. First, let's explore the power of pre-built templates. I'll use one of the sample automations that comes with this free tool to give you a quick taste of what it can do. After heading to the Calendar Integration menu and opening the Automation Builder, I will click View Templates. You'll see options like Appointment Booking, Meeting Scheduler, Event Planning, and Shift Scheduling. For this demo, I'll select the Event Planning template. Clicking Preview shows exactly how your data will be structured in the spreadsheet. Looks good? Just hit Use Template to create it in your Google Sheets. Perfect, the template is now in your spreadsheet with sample data, perfectly set up for calendar automation. Let's take a look. The sheet has all the necessary columns, like event title, date, and time. To see the automation workflow, I'll refresh the page. Here's the newly created workflow. It shows the target sheet, the trigger type, and the Google Calendar where events will be created. Want to see how the columns map to the event details? Just expand the workflow to reveal the mappings. If you need to tweak anything, hit the Edit button. Ready to test? Click Test. Success! Let's check Google Calendar. There it is. The event was created perfectly. I can open it to see all the details. Let's try another test. I'll add a new row to the sheet with fresh data. Now, back to the calendar. The new event is there, created automatically. It is also supposed to send the invitation email. Let me show that to you as well. And here you can see the invite was sent successfully. Back to the workflow builder. When the trigger type is bulk create, then it will show another button named run, which will create events in bulk for all the rows meeting set criteria. Let's test this one too. The run was successful. Now let's open the calendar again. And here you can see that several events were created on different dates. Pretty cool, right? If you're loving this automation, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me keep bringing you awesome free content like this. Now, let's make this your own by creating a custom automation from the ground up. Don't worry, it's super easy. Start by making a copy of the spreadsheet template linked in the description below. Once it's open, go to the Extensions menu and select App Script to open the editor. Next, it's time to deploy the script. Click Deploy in the top right corner, then select New Deployment. Choose Web App as the deployment type. In the settings, add a description, like Version 1. Under Execute As, select Me. For Who Has Access, choose Myself. Then hit Deploy. Google will prompt you to authorize the app. Follow the steps to grant permissions. Once deployed, you'll get a Web App URL. Copy it. It's super important. If you ever need it again, find it under Manage Deployments. Back in your spreadsheet, look for the Calendar Integration Custom menu. Refresh the sheet if you don't see it. Click it, select Configuration, then Set Web App URL. Paste the URL you copied and save. That's it, your setup is complete. To start fresh, go to the Testing menu and click Reset Project. This clears the spreadsheet, leaving you with a blank sheet. Let's add some sample data. I've created an appointment booking sheet with columns for event details. Now open the Calendar Automation Workflow Builder. As stated earlier, you could use a template again by clicking View Templates, but let's build one from scratch this time. Click the plus New Automation button. Give your automation a name, like Appointment Booking. In the Target Sheet dropdown, select the Appointment Booking sheet we just created. Next, choose a trigger type. You've got three options. When a new row is added, when a specific column is updated, bulk create based on criteria. The first one is simple. For example, it will create a new event in the calendar whenever a new row is added to the sheet. 
If we choose the second option, then it will present another dropdown to select the watch column. This will create an event when the watch column changes based on further criteria that we can build later in this form. The third option will create events in bulk based on set criteria. Let's go first with when a new row is added for simplicity. Step 2. Calendar Configuration the calendar dropdown will show all the calendars linked to the current Google account or shared calendars with edit permissions. Now, let's build the event title. You can make it dynamic by using column values. For example, type appointment with and insert the client name column by clicking it from the dropdown. It wraps the column name in double curly braces like appointment with. This creates titles like appointment with Bob or appointment with Charlie. Similarly, for the description, let's include the service type column. Then select columns for location, start date time, and end date time. If your date and time are in separate columns, use a formula in Google Sheets to combine them into one column and select that here. For attendees, pick a column with comma-separated email addresses. Want an all-day event? Toggle the all-day event switch. To send invites automatically, turn on Send Invitations. Finally, choose an event color to make these events stand out in your calendar. Step 3. Trigger Criteria This section lets you set conditions for when events are created. For example, I'll add a criterion where the status column equals scheduled, so events will only be created for rows where the status is scheduled. The Criteria Builder offers you a lot of operators. You can join multiple criteria. To summarize, this automation creates an event in your appointment calendar whenever a new row is added with a scheduled status. Optional, Bulk Create Settings. If you switch the trigger type to Bulk Create based on criteria, you'll see extra settings. Down here, you can see it's asking for a status column. Here, you can specify a column to update after events are created, like setting the status column to Created. After creating events, it will update the status column to Created. This way, it will not create events for those rows in the next run. This is the setting for Bulk Create. For now, let's stick with our original new row trigger. Finally, hit Create Automation. Success! The workflow is saved and ready to test. Let me show you another important thing. If you check the App Script Editor under Triggers, you'll see a new trigger. This ensures that it will fire whenever a new row is added. Let's test it. Go back to the spreadsheet, add a new row, and check your calendar. There it is, the event was created perfectly. And that's it! You now know how to automate Google Calendar events from Google Sheets using templates or by building your own workflow. If this tutorial helped you, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more time-saving tips like this. Got questions or want to share your automation ideas? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.